So, how was 2017 for y'all? Was it good? Uh, we gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about that. Here we are at the end of one of the craziest fucking years ever. 2017. Man, look. 2017 been a, a scooter to the damn ankle. Like, dead ass. It ain't been a good year, man. It ain't been a good year. I mean, it's some good that came from this year, some bad that came from this year. Um, some wins, some losses, but you know, I'm still here. That's what I'm grateful for. I feel like it was a month ago, and I'm like, you already in 2017? And like, boop, boop, like, I'm just here, and it's just like, we at the end of 2017, about to be in 2018. Like, damn, like, this year really went by mad quick. But that being said, 2017 has taught me some lessons. So this video is going to be about seven things that I've learned in 2017. Where do I begin? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Purpose. 17 has definitely taught me my purpose. I mean, I'm still learning, but what I will say is it's t it taught me what my purpose on this earth was and what I'm here to do. And I gotta work for it, and I am working for it, but it's gonna take me a minute because I'm not kissing nobody ass, I'm not dick riding nobody, I'm not clout chasing, I'm just gonna do it my way, and I'm, that's the best way I'm gonna know how to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm just doing my way, period, so, 2017, so, that's what that is. Another thing that 2017 taught me is that it is important for me to mind my business. First of all, it makes sense, if you minding your business and you just going about chores, you're not worried about what nobody else is doing. You're in your own lane, not merging in anybody else's lane. And nobody gonna be creating traffic and bullshit in your lane because you away from everybody else's lane. So you ain't in no drama, you ain't in no bullshit, ain't nobody coming for you, ain't nobody saying that they beefing with you. Like, it makes sense. It makes sense. See that? Like, like that. That's how you mind your business. 2017 has also taught me who my friends are. This year I hit a couple low points. I hit the lowest point when my pops passed, cause you know, me and my pops was mad close. Like, so losing him was real crazy. So, that being said, it was some people who I expected to reach out and they didn't. And there's some people who I didn't expect to reach out and they did. They was always asking me if I was good. They was always making sure I was good. They was always checking up on me no matter what. Like, no matter if they see me, no matter if they didn't see me. They still made sure I was good. And that falls into my other lesson that I learned was to appreciate your love. Cause you never know. You never know, you never know. It's important to tell people that, to make sure that people know that they appreciate it, you know. It's important to make sure your loved ones know that they love, you know. Another lesson that 2017 taught me is that it is okay to cut motherfuckers off with no warning. Like I said before in my fallback season video, we too grown to be trying to constantly remind people what they gotta do and what they shouldn't do. Like, we too grown to keep warning people and keep trying to explain to people what they did wrong. Like, first of all, you grown. Like, you grown. So you should already know what you did wrong at the end of the day. Nobody should have to keep telling you you did this wrong, you did that wrong. The hell? And then, like, I noticed that people play victim when that shit happens. When you cut motherfuckers off with no warning, they start playing victim. Oh, this and that, this and that, this and that. I didn't know, I didn't know. Like, first of all, I'm pretty sure you got some common sense and it tells you, I did this one. Maybe that's why this person is acting this way. Just stop. Just stop. It's okay to cut motherfuckers off with no warning. I don't give a fuck what the memes say. Communication is key. Yeah, communication is key. But if a person keeps doing some bullshit and, 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 and you just get tired of it, what's the point of you keep trying to tell that person, oh, you doing this or you doing that one? Cut the motherfuckers off. Cut the motherfucking ties loose. I had to do that to a couple people. Yeah. It was, I mean, yeah, it's, it's gonna take some time because you're used to them people being around, but fuck them. If they ain't doing, if they ain't contributing nothing good, that's what it is, period. 2017 has also taught me that motherfuckers is mad dumb. It is mad hot in here. Yeah, I noticed that people in this generation, this stupid ass generation, I noticed that everybody is the same. Everybody. Y'all mindsets is fucked up. 
y'all influences is just fucked up. The shit that y'all encourage is fucked up. Like, y'all just mad dumb. I noticed that people don't like to be different. People don't like to sway away from the norm. Like, and that shit is mad dumb to me. I feel like y'all is just scared. I feel like motherfuckers are scared to think for themselves. Motherfuckers are scared to have a mind of their own. Motherfuckers are so scared to to not be like what today's society is like. Motherfuckers is afraid to be different. Motherfuckers is afraid to be authentic. This is a whole bunch of BS that's going on. I'm just like, what the fuck? How do we get here? This this question. How do we get here? And where are we going after this? Because I can only expect the worst. Because y'all are mad. Dumb for real, like just, just, just stupid, like just stupid, like y'all need to smarten up, y'all need to grow up, stop the dramatics, like we, we, just stop, stop the dramatics, like y'all just mad dumb, and then it's like y'all dudes is just mad dumb. This is exactly why I don't got god friends, cause y'all just fucking stupid. I'm not gonna talk about that, cause it speak for itself. Y'all females, y'all dumb as hell too, cause, cause this, this falls into what I'm about to say, because. Y'all females are dumb because y'all see the way these niggas act. All these niggas, most of these niggas in this generation is fuckboys. Like that, like that, that's already established. Y'all see how these dudes act. And then y'all go trying to be with these dudes, thinking that y'all could change them or whatever. You can't change a nigga that's that, that's grown. Like you just can't. Y'all are mad, dumb for real. Last but not least, 2017 has taught me what to do and what not to do in 2018. This year. I wasn't as productive as I expected that I would be, but it told me that I need to put more work in. It told me I need to be more consistent. It told me that I need to stop expecting approval from others. You can't be going around expecting approval from people. You can work twice as hard as next month, but nobody really gonna care. Nobody gonna care, that's the thing. You gotta, Stop expecting people to care. Stop expecting people to reach out. Stop expecting for other people's approval. You know, cause that's gonna be the rudest, the rudest awakening. Cause you don't nobody really care what you do. Stop expecting people to care. Like in 2017 has taught me that I need to, yeah, it taught me what not to do in 2018. I can't be expecting approval from people I can't be expecting handout that's just what it is and uh yeah 2018 is a level up year I'm graduating in 2018 um moving away I'm actually in the process of I imagine y'all can't see what my area look like right now but I'm actually in the process of moving but man 2018 level up only go one up from here only I mean, ain't no other way to go, but uh, but that's all I talk about for today. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Uh, yeah, and that's it, and I'm out. Who do you love?